Hello over Unity friends, this is Stefan and Bokard besides me and we are testing here again uh, some new circuits. Today we have a Bedini um, box here. It's from Roy Kontusch's Volksbedini and um, we got it to work in a kind of uh, non-rotating mode, in a solid state oscillation mode something like a dual sieve mode and you see we have here at the output we go into three transformers in series and at the other side of the transformers we have here these 220 volt led bulbs and after the last transformer we go into a, the positive pole of this big car battery which is then charged up all right and um yeah you can see over here we have also in the ground line before we go to the ground line we have here also two transformers in series it's some kind um all this setup is some kind we in the what was that called um shoe media box like uh, from from Rick Friedrich which shows this this guy from Michael Schuh. Um, um, yeah it's, it's similar we have uh, as a resistor we have these two transformer in series and then we go back to the um, negative input pole to, to the bedinis and and at, at the secondaries um, of the transformers we have these lamps here connected um, this way uh, these are the the higher turn coils of the transformer so we have the low low resistance coils um, as the input in series here and the two outputs here um, are the high turn coils so uh, we have a better impedance matching so so let's see what we have here the yellow uh, trace uh, channel one is the input current and the blue um, channel the channel two is across the one of the transformers here here at this at this point here and they have the same um, ground here and uh, channel one is inverted so because we have to have the same ground over here and so um, from this point to this point is channel one and from this to to this point is channel two so you can see that over here and we also have cyclic RMS selected here on the scope to see RMS values. All right, so uh, let's let's show what we have uh, as an input amperage. We have now 80 milliamps at about. Um, this is here the input voltage it's about um, 12 volts a little bit more than 12 volts and this is the output uh, battery this one down there is shown then over here at the output it's about 13 volts doesn't focus now yeah, you can see the difference here. Okay. Um, hello. Let's let's turn. This is the this is a pre-resistor for for this. I can go down to about thirty milliamps, and I am still <laughs> in the input. Uh, the bulbs are still running at 32 milliamps of input current and we have 
this these scope shots here let's see can also here and if I go to higher values so about from 52 milliamps uh, the other bulbs are also lit now so and I'm, I'm just turning the, the potentiometer of the Bedini circuit over here all right um, now I can see bulbs are still lit Let's see we can do it this way now it's 20 milliamps well so about at 16 milliamps uh, the the bulbs go out and I have to readjust the potentiometer again so okay so we have extremely low input power here uh, kannst du mal ausrechnen wie viel 50 milliampere ist und uh, 12 volts und so uh, was ist denn das ja 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 0.6 watts here at 50 milliamps you know that's right yeah. and yeah we have okay the brightness of these bulbs is about you can't see this right in the camera oh, let's turn it this way it's about maybe third of the brightness from the normal brightness and these are almost out now uh, at 50 milliamps so um ach so, du hast einen Luxmeter ja mach mal an hier Bogart has got a Luxmeter uh, maybe can show that but but you have to have the, the right distance weil du musst man den gleichen Abstand mm. halten oder In welchem ja, Abstand macht man das? Normalerweise immer in Meter, wa? oder was? <lacht> <lacht> Normally you have to have, uh, I think, one meter so distance or something like this. Okay, we do that another time. We have to, that has to be also calibrated. But you see, uh, with 50 milliamps input, we, um, we already get pretty good uh, output brightness of these bulbs. Oh, I have risen it up to 91 milliamps. And uh, yeah, no problem. Bulbs gone out. Yeah, the solid state mode is, is, is much better than. Um, Then, then the running, you can also run it. Uh, but then the, then the input current jumps to 300 milliamps. And strangely, the bulbs sometimes go out then. Yeah, it jumps back and forth here. So, um, now we have 248 milliamps. Oh, shit, this Meter is going out all the time. Uh, is it no DC? No, it's set to DC, yeah. And um, if I stop that, and we have the solid state mode, I can achieve. Uh, uh, Meter is not right at this moment. Um, let's see, I have to reset that. Okay, let's see. DC on zero. Okay. Okay, now we have 97 milliamps. And, and if I go to about 70 to 80 milliamps, it's almost the same as if I run this thing here so 
Um, and now it jumps to two over, over 200. Um, let's see if we have some kind of waveform over here. a different kind of waveform now okay yeah we have to to tune this a little bit more and also have to see um, if the uh, if the output voltage of the battery of the charge battery if it's rising no the in the, the, the voltage of the normal uh, uh, feeding battery has been going down a bit. Okay, but but um, few one hour ago we had a mode where where this was uh, also rising the battery voltage. So we had in all in all both battery voltages were rising so this is a fine tuning of it all and we also have to test some more capacitors over here so we can get um, better charging of both batteries the input battery and the output battery okay so all in all we can uh, have a system where we only have charging of both batteries and uh, so the source battery is also charged then not in this moment <laughs> because I have a yeah because now I have uh, had this because it's running in not solid state it was not drawing too much amps so I have to be in the range of about under 100 milliamps and then it's really efficient let's see okay now I'm again in the solid state mode let's see here 40 milliamps and we have all these two bulbs already running and pretty bright, so that's not too bad. Okay. Oh, we have a different frequency now, it's um, much higher. Let's see, I need to trigger it. Okay, let's trigger it again. Now, so this is pretty interesting and I hope we can make this a permanent circuit somehow and uh, look here only 40 milliamps and these two bulbs are really pretty bright this is what is it 12 volt my uh, uh, so now now the let's see here the one the input input battery has risen again now also to to 13 volts yeah yeah okay here see <laughs> so the battery is charging now again that's really good <laughs> not too bad yeah so to hook transformers in the input directly uh, between the battery and the the ground line of, of the Bedini is really efficient. Yeah. So, yo, not bad at all. Let's, let's see, 39 milliamps. Um, let's say I rise this up again and uh, now at 72 milliamps. Now we also have these three bulbs lighting up. So, and uh, let's see how much this charges. Uh, uh, look. 
Williams. Okay, but okay, we have let's let's see him. Uh, he has his own here. Stefan Mir. No, no. Let's see. No, we are not trying. No, okay, only nine Williams. Okay, come fourteen. Yeah, it depends. Uh, we already had it earlier about. Let's have a junior. So Schon mal 50 Milliampere mm. oder so, oder wenn? Schon ja. Mm. ja. Ja, it depends on the, on the right settings. Now when we have this, um, this shunt, this is a one ohm shunt here, uh, it change also the circuit a little bit. And uh, now we have 100 milliamps and we have all five bulbs lighting up. And these two are pretty bright. These a little bit lower brightness, but not too much. Uh. All right, so um, if you have questions, then ask this in the comments, please. Please give us a thumb up. So we have worked the whole day today over here to get this into the stage. And um, yeah, I hope you liked it. And yeah, let us know your comments and questions just put it in the um, in the comments below yeah and please subscribe and hit the bell here um, at this time <laughs> yeah down below here hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you can click cl uh, our um, getting each email when a new video comes out yeah okay Many thanks and um, give us a thumb up. Okay, bye bye for now.